As a 30-year-old, here is why I optimized my morning routine including breakfast, including more superfoods and enjoying caffeine in moderation instead of opting out of it. So let's get started. mainly revolves around food because I love baking and I enjoy cooking my favorite meal. I wake up at 5 a.m. and kickstart my morning with some lemon water which helps with digestion. It's a great source of vitamin C and it also has tons of antioxidant boost. Um, it also helps you clear up your skin, provides the hydration. Then after, I include greens in my diet as well, especially in the morning. It has moringa, wheatgrass, barley grass, makash, bulina, and a lot of other mix of greens. It helps you detox, it helps you improve the gut health, which means if your gut health is good, your skin is going to glow from inside out. It also helps with hair fall, reduces inflammation and have all the essential vitamins and minerals that I skip especially um, if I don't include any kind of veggies in it. Then I take a probiotic pill. It's not every single day but I take it uh, sometimes like two to three times a week. I also never skip my breakfast. Today I'm doing the mix of apple and blueberries with yogurt and a bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon helps with blood sugar and is also rich in antioxidant. I do this as a pre-workout snack. This is also my first breakfast. I never skip breakfast because it helps with metabolism, energy and everything. I enjoy my coffee after my breakfast because it affected my gut health when I used to drink it on an empty stomach. Also, I have limited my coffee intake from four to five coffees a day to one coffee and reducing the caffeine has significantly helped clear up my skin as well. I take multiple supplements like fish oil, vitamin A, multivitamins in the morning. And after my workout and right before my second breakfast, I always do a mix of some kind of a juice and collagen because collagen is also a kind of protein. So it's great after your workout and it helps with bone density, your skin health, um, healthier nails, hairs, and it also helps with the skin's elasticity. And I take the collagen every single day. You can either take the beef collagen or fish collagen. I take fish collagen. I pair it with hair and nail supplements. It helps with hair fall, the hair density. Again, I don't take this every single day. I take it only two to three times a week. Back from the gym, showered, got dressed, and now I'm going to make breakfast and today I'm doing pancakes so I'm gonna have two eggs usually for breakfast I do eggs or I just go for something that's even more filling um, today I was craving like something sweet so I'm doing pancakes and you can switch I'm also adding half a banana you can do full banana but I'll be adding another sweetener so I'm just uh, going to add half a banana at the moment but before that I need to whisk my eggs I forgot um, I need to place it with uh, heavy cream or yogurt you can do half and half or you can just replace it with coconut yogurt or uh, vanilla yogurt or whatever vegan yogurt is available so after whisking my eggs I am going to do uh, yogurt as well just for that extra protein nothing special but if you don't uh, like adding yogurt to your uh, pancakes that's also okay but I love how the texture comes out I'm just going to do one tablespoon of yogurt and whisk again add half a banana you can either replace it with um, apple jam or you can just replace it with apple puree or any kind of uh, puree if you don't like banana but trust me banana tastes really good I'm adding the mulberry molasses I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this but 
if you don't have this or you don't like mulberry or anything you can replace it with either honey or uh, date syrup or agave or maple syrup anything will do i just like the flavor of the mulberry molasses like because it just gives that earthy and nutty kind of i don't know there is very distinct flavor of this so i like adding this and i'll just give it a nice mix after adding all the wet ingredients it's time for uh, our dry ingredients so i'm doing a fourth cup of oats a pinch of salt um then i'm using a little bit of cinnamon so it's like half a teaspoon of cinnamon and if you're not a fan of cinnamon you can just opt out of it um, it's just optional I like the flavor of cinnamon and then I'm adding a bit of butter vanilla aroma just a few drops two or three um, I just like the flavor or the aroma that comes out when cook the pancakes give it a final mix this is how the pancake with mixture looks using uh, walnut oil because that's what i have in hand you can use butter coconut oil or whatever oil you have so just a little bit of they're so soft that i can just break it with my fork like i don't even need knife you have to give this recipe a try I promise you won't be disappointed and uh, you can just replace the apple with banana or berries you can replace peanut butter and jam with uh, simple syrup or maple syrup or any other nut butter I just like to enjoy like this um, sometimes I do it with berries sometimes I do it with apple or if whatever fruit I have available so today I did it with apple thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one